Welcome to Vatican 6. I'm your host, Titan. Let's get to it. We continue with our team coverage as we're working to learn how three and why three officers were shot late last night in Bristol. Our law enforcement expert, retired state police lieutenant J. Paul Vance, is joining us via Zoom in just a few minutes. But first, we do have team coverage this morning, so we want to get straight out to Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanin, who is live this morning. So, Roger, tell us where you are and the latest information on the scene there. Well, good morning, Caitlin. Good morning, Wendell. Right now, we are live near the scene of where this shooting happened, right near Birch Hill Road. Uh, and state police just moments ago actually sent out an update again confirming the fact that three officers were shot in this shooting and they're asking for patience right now because they said they're still working with investigators to get accurate information before it's released they expect to give us an update any moment now and of course as soon as we get that we will share it with you but i want to let you take a look at the scene right now you can see that it's still a large police investigation i want to correct something that i said this is right near the intersection of red stone hill road and Birch Street. So that is where this shooting happened. And police have confirmed again that three officers were shot during some sort of shootout relatively late last night. Again, it happened near the intersection of Redstone Hill Road and Birch Street. At this point, we still don't know where those officers worked for. We don't know if they were state or local police officers. And we also, at this point, don't know the condition of any of the officers who were hurt or any suspects who might have been involved in this. Now, we can tell you. As you can see here, that this was a huge police response. At one point, and I think we you see this video here, officers surrounded a gray home uh, here. We don't know exactly what role, if any, that home played in this investigation. But as I mentioned, a huge police response. State police leading the investigation, and their major crime unit is here near the scene right now. There's also support being provided by Bristol, Southington, Berlin, along with a regional SWAT team. And this area is a residential area. It's only about a half a mile north of ESPN's campus. So certainly a lot of people both live and work in this area. And I can tell you that police, even at this late hour or early hour, are still preventing people from coming to their homes who live in this area because this is such an active investigation. As I mentioned, state police say they will share an update with us relatively soon we don't know exactly when that is going to happen but again state police say at this point they are still gathering information they're still talking with investigators at the scene and they want to make sure that all of the information that they share is of course accurate and as soon as they do share information with us we'll share it with you online as well as on the channel 3 app and also live here on eyewitness news this morning so again we're awaiting another update but again three police officers were shot here in bristol and we're gathering more information as we speak reporting live in bristol i'm roger suzanne in channel 3 eyewitness news memorial is growing outside the bristol connecticut police department after two police officers were killed and a third was shot but survived both victims were in their mid-30s one was a father of two with one more on the way the horrific tragedy hitting home for current and former officers. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us now live in studio with their reaction. Brittany. Well, Mike, Kayla, we've learned Officer Alex Hamsey was shot to death on the scene of that residential neighborhood. Sergeant Dustin DeMonte was rushed to the hospital but pronounced dead there, leaving heartbreak in all of Bristol, Connecticut. Both current and former men in blue calling domestic violence the most dangerous call police can respond to. The most deadly situation ever for law enforcement. You have to mediate a dispute. Uh, there's a lot of emotions involved. It's the call three Bristol, Connecticut officers were responding to when they were shot. But state police say the investigation revealed it was all a plot to lure law enforcement. When officers arrived, they were immediately met with a suspect outside of 310 Redstone Hill Road. Shots were fired, fatally wounding one officer on scene. Another officer later died at the hospital. 35-year-old Sergeant Dustin DeMonte and 34-year-old Officer Alex Hamsey are identified as the men who paid the ultimate sacrifice while serving their community. They both leave behind their wives. DeMonte was also a father of two with a third child on the way. Our men and women of the Bristol Police Department are privileged and honored to serve on the front lines, protecting and serving the community of Bristol. And that's what these heroes did last night. 
They answered a call to duty and they responded without hesitation. 26-year-old officer Alec Ayarato underwent surgery but has since been released from the hospital. The suspect and his brother were also both shot. The suspect was pronounced dead at the scene while his brother was taken to the hospital. Now, black bunting and hundreds of flowers lay at Bristol Police Headquarters as the community and beyond mourn. It's horrible. And it just makes you think, as anybody in law enforcement throughout the country, all believe today that could have been me. And police have identified the suspect as 35-year-old Nicholas Brutcher. Numerous departments across Rhode Island I spoke to today, including North Providence and Providence, will be attending the funeral procession, but that date has not been announced yet. Live in studio, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. Police officers in Bristol, Connecticut, were shot and killed and a third injured in an apparent ambush. A hero salute today in honor of Sergeant Dustin Del Monte and Officer Alex Hamsey. Police say late last night, Night, the officers arrived at a home after a call for help, but were then met by gunfire. CBS 2's Ali Bauman in Bristol tonight, where the community is in mourning. The officers were responding to a 911 call for a domestic dispute between brothers when the suspect allegedly opened fire. Investigators believe the call itself was a fake, a deadly ploy to lure the officer to the suspect's home. You know, Bristol is nicknamed the All Heart City, and tonight the city's heart is broken. The Bristol Police Department is overflowing with flowers and handwritten cards as the community files in to pay their respects to Sergeant Dustin DeMonte and Officer Alex Hamsey. It's a family. It's a family is why we're here. David Carello, a retired Bristol detective, planted American flags outside the station. You're always a police officer, weren't you? <laughs> Whether you're retired or not. The officers were responding to a 911 call late Wednesday night for a domestic dispute in a Bristol home. When they arrived, investigators say the suspect, 35-year-old Nicholas Brucher, came out wearing camo, wielding an AR-15-style rifle, and opened fire on the cops. 10 to 15, rapid, bang, 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 stop for maybe a minute, then another 15 to 20, bang, 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 bang. The shots captured on a neighboring camera. Shooting here, going back up. The suspect was killed and his brother Nathan wounded. 34-year-old Officer Hamsey died at the scene. He just celebrated his first wedding anniversary this summer. 35-year-old Sergeant DeMonte died at the hospital. He leaves behind a wife, two children, and a third on the way. 26-year-old Officer Alec Yeroda was injured and released from the hospital Thursday. This is Vatican Six. I'm your host, Titan. Thank you for watching and I'm gone.